Say got candor. You talking big, but I know you got no answers. I just put them on my back like Jan Sport. And I go and get the rent from the landlord. Damn, I'm in my face. It's the way. Think you got a ring on me? We ain't on the same page. You ain't going nowhere. Listening to lies. But these one need one heart, a hundred and five. Sorry, not sorry, though. I'm in my authority mode. Hit me be like, see, like, where you be? I be like, adios. Why you need a party, though? Working on the audio. They can't even play me when they play me on the radio. Got like shining bright on me. My third eye, I don't see yeah. I'm going up like where Zion be So all I know is you should probably swipe right on me All that green you're Got me talking with my walking I need your mind I'm gonna take you to the place you wanna be tonight Oh, what we get done when we go one step at a time One step at a time Yeah, I'll be taking off no landing Now I'm at the top and I'm stranded Fresh PA, and we just want to ball at the YMCA. Stuck on the Ooh, point, but I think it's like beside. It's the first time I've been wilding like Lamb before time. Oh, 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 I'm late. Got all my attention, it's all on my plate. I think you fixated on someone I was, but someone I was is someone I am. Oh, yeah. Hit it, Cannon. Oh, you guys feel this? I'm going to take you to the place you want to be tonight. How's everyone doing? Your bar's open, Chris. Ours close at like nine. You have to order food. Got me talking with my walking. I can read your mind. I'm gonna take you to the place you wanna be tonight. Oh, what we get done when we go one step at a time. One step at a time. Yeah, I'm taking off no landing. Now I'm at the top and I'm stranded. Awesome, Chris. Stan Smith by Cannon. Solid. My brother, my brother sent me that this morning. That's how I woke up. Your bars are open till 3 a.m. All right. So I had a meeting I had to go to today. First of all, thank you guys for filling. Thanks to Chris for updating. I, I didn't know if we were going to post something tonight. The reason I had a, quite a day today, big shout out to my brother for just getting me in the right place. Um, had a meeting I had to go to this evening, early evening. Uh, went very well, and but then I had to spend some time. There's a Herbie. Had to spend some time. There's another Herbie with my family, and I was like, I don't know if we're going to post something or not. But threw this mix together. Chris is like, looks good. Drop it. <laughs> Field of dreams. If you build it. Sean McKeon, I think, is the Patriots, but we're going to have to double check that. Um. So anyhow, my wife had a gift card. The meeting was a ways away. It was like 45 minutes away, but there's this brewery there. And uh, my wife had gotten a gift card from one of her coworkers for us to go, but we're like, we're never gonna make it there. Let me just, I'll just pick like a growler up to go, dude. I'm like, can I get a beer? Like while I wait, she's like, uh, you gotta order something. We have like a meat and cheese tray for three dollars. I'm like, just give me a twelve pack. I'm not sitting here by myself eating meat and like it wasn't the awful, but I was like in a hurry. I was like, I just wanted to try a beer. Um, but that's where we're at here. Fairy, that you have to order food and then like the bars have to close by like nine or ten. It's dumb, so stupid, dude. The place is packed, packed. <laughs> People eating meat and cheese like little. They're called cups. They put like a couple meat and cheese cubes in a cup for three dollars. 
Swear to God, that's the way around it, because you have to order food. <laughs> Dumbest fucking thing ever. Brian Herrion. Oh, man, I got to look these guys up. Tell me that's not the dumbest shit you ever heard. Got to order food, guys. Just put out those quarter bags of chips, right? Oh, and then I heard it had to be like a meal, so that's their way around it. It's food. <laughs> People were doing bags of pretzels, and they were doing these little snack bags of like pretzel rods. Like, not even rods, like the mini pretzel twist. Chase Claypool for a quarter just so you could buy a drink. Like, this stupid fucking roll. <laughs> Oh, uh, our world is so dumb sometimes. Like, like I'm not, whatever. Don't go out, go out. I don't care what your where your stance is. I really don't care. I respect both stances. I really do. If you don't want to go out, don't go out. But don't make up stupid rules of why we can go out. Xavier McKinney for the Giants. That's crazy, Chris. And you guys aren't all dead. Oh, my gosh. Someone check on Indiana real quick. They all right? One of one Kamara. All right, here we go. KJ Hamler, Tyler Johnson. There's a Joey B and a Joey B. We got the Kyler Murray. I will say this. Last night's Throwback Thursday was such a fun break. We hadn't done one in a while. And I always get a little worried, especially when we get up above $30. Um, Preston Williams and Jeff Gladney for the Vikings, I believe. Uh, I will confirm these since they're in Call of Duties. What up, Matt? Um, but yeah, then we pulled that Troy Aikman last night. What a pull that was. That was such a fun pull. I feel like we're going to get something out of this. Ah, uh, here it comes. School colors. I knew there was something coming with these names. Lynn Bowden, Clyde Edwards, Alaire. There is something coming. Marino, Campbell, Moore, and Hawkinson, Alabisi, Johnson, Paulo, Jones, Carson, Hardman. Boom! I knew there had to be something. Sean Carone, not numbered, but still school colors in the Oregon Uni. There you go, boomers in the collegiate unis. In the collegiate. Kaboom! I knew with those autos, I'm like, all right, what's coming up? Hollywood Casino? What's Hollywood Casino? Is that a casino like in the, in Pennsylvania? I know Josh Josh lives in Pennsylvania with me. There we go, Herbie. Seven dollars, Chris. Probably about seven dollars. There's a casino. Where's Grantville at? So why was it? Tell us why it was so awesome. I'm looking for something else to do, Yashua. Long Yashua. There you go. Did you win any money? I was going to pay, but I didn't have any money. <laughs> Two dollar credit named that movie. It was in the news this week. I wanted to pay, but I didn't have any money. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, I gotta get to Hershey too. First person gets it. Two dollar credit. Only one winner. And for the Steelers, Anthony McFarlane, Jonathan Thomas, two dollars credit for you. Happy Gilmore Reboot, the senior tour. Sorry, Taylor. Made, is that Chris? Chris, is that a new name or did you just switch over? Did he finally get his own tag? I think we pulled McFarlane in this last time too. What would you guys think? Is it too late to do a Happy Gilmore, or is it? If would you still be like excited if they were gonna do a Happy Gilmore? I feel like it'd still be fun. Like, 
Adam Sandler's latest movies, people want to hate on this whole Netflix thing. I've enjoyed his movies. I really have. I did it. Oh, oh, you mean you mean with um, Shooter McGavin? I did see that. They're talking about doing a new reboot, the Senior Tour. I got I gotta seriously tell you guys. I appreciate. I think I would too, Seth. I appreciate you guys filling. I honestly was not. I was like laying with the family. We we watched. Oh my gosh, we watched WandaVision. Dude, <laughs> we thought at the end of it, it was so good. We thought it was the season finale, but there's one more. John Wolford going out to the Rams. So this is, now here's a guy, for real though, here's a guy that if he ends up playing, this is why Contenders is great. This may be his only chance for you to get like a legit quality rookie card out of him um, for as much as that goes for. So um, if Wolford hits and he becomes like a thing, Look for, like, contenders. You know, that, that's going to be a coveted car right there, honestly. Tom Brady. We got the Aaron Rodgers. But anyhow, oh, here we go. Another one for the Rams. Xavier Jones. Is he one of our autos tonight? No, Xavier McKinney. Well, John, you know what's funny? My wife watched the first episode without us, without me. She watched it with my son Paxton. And she's like, oh, I'm so disappointed. We were so excited for this. It was awful. And then they watched the second one. There we go. Another Herbert. Um, watch the second one. And they were, she was like, all right, like right, I'll watch another one. So we watched the first one I watched. I haven't watched the first two. I've never seen the first two episodes. And I don't care to. I watched the third one. And I was absolutely Hooked. Hooked. Here we go. Bo Jackson out of 25 is going to be our parallel. Nice card there for the Raiders. It did. Oh, and that's, John, that's what hooked me. The end of the third, I was like, holy shit. Like, this show is so good. My, my wife was like, don't get it wrong. Like, the first two were not like this. She's like, I want to watch the fourth. And so it's the first show ever as a family we've sat down and watched every... Like, we didn't do that with Star Wars, like The Mandalorian. My wife may have with Paxton, but I didn't get into that at all. I'm not... A, I hate Star Wars. Like, no offense to anyone, but I freaking hate Star Wars. I don't care if I ever watch any of it. Um, but anyhow, I tell you that because after my meeting tonight... I came home, we had, I cooked pizza and wings as our like Friday thing. I did that with my family when I was young to watch TGIF. Any of y'all watch that? You know, Urkel, Full House, Step by Step. We were telling my son tonight, cause he's like, I want to watch the next one. And we're like, dude, you got to wait till next week. He's like, just play it. And I'm like, listen, man, you get to binge watch. Binge watching wasn't a thing when we were kids. My wife and I were telling about like TGIF. And if you missed it, like if you were out and you couldn't record it, like, you were, like, shit was lost. Because you couldn't, they didn't replay that shit. You just missed an episode. They were just humorous sitcoms. But, it was like, he did, he just doesn't get it, you know? Like, they'll, they'll never know. Except for the fact that now Netflix and them and, like, Disney Plus are kind of doing those, well, more Disney Plus are doing those weekly releases. So, it's kind of cool. Bad dubbing? What do you mean? Do you mean to say dabbing? So anyhow, um, I was I messaged John. I was like, "Does anyone have any breaks? Like almost full? I want to get in a break." And then I was like, "Whatever, I'll just post one so we can open cards." I thought about opening a box of cards myself. I was itching, man. James Robinson, Rookie of the Year contenders. So it, I just the reason I tell you that whole thing is I'm I'm super thankful for you guys. That is going to be an on card out of 99 for the Jags. Joseph Taylor with the on card playoff ticket. LaVisca Chenault. Oh, yeah. I don't... I don't think I could do that. I can do subtitles. But, like, I can't watch Bluetooth if... Like, if something's on Bluetooth and the voice is off from... Like, if it's bad Bluetooth, you ever see that? How it's just off sync? I can't watch it. It bothers the hell out of me. 
It's like listening to a CD that keeps skipping. Cool Comet and Chase Claypool. And, oh, look at this. Look at this. Veteran ticket for the tennis. Hitman. What up, Hitman? Kaboom. Got it. Danny Hill. There he is with the ticket stub. Veteran ticket stub. Eight out of 17. I'm not going to mag it. That is a nasty card. We're going to sticker. I'm not going to mag it, though, because it is a rookie ticket. Hey, that's our last sticker on the sheet. On the sheet. But I do want to leave the stub exposed. There we go. Not a bad little break. Denzel Mims. Sutton Sanders, there's a T. Higgins. Gordon, Jeffrey, Bosa, and what do we got? A Steven Sims going out to the Skins. That is going to go to the Washington football team. Dougie! What up, Dougie? A little something something for you there, Douglas. Uh-oh, we got a random here. the dice for the Herbie and Love and the Comet and I didn't even see that Comet and Claypool there at the end one roll both cards all right that's our contenders we got limited left and then we're gonna call it a night Tannehill I don't know man um going up to like last year when they were heading into the Super Bowl stuff started to tick up a little bit his, his rookie stuff particularly I think it would do all right I think he's got to come out with a strong year for his cards to hold all right, good luck, everybody. Claypool to the Steelers. You got it, man. He's got the Steelers. Josh Long. Good luck. Oh, Tanny. Good luck, everybody. Here we go, starting out with an auto. Alvin Kamara, Miles Sanders, Mark Ingram, Jimmy G, and a Mooney. Look at that. Karma coming right back. He said, give the give the Steelers the Bears card. I'll take the auto. Out of 199, Mooney for the Bears. All right, let's see. Is it going to be... It's either going to be... I think it could be a patch auto. We'll see. It is going to be just our patch. There's another Bears number card. Eddie Jackson out of 49. And a double J. Justin Jefferson for the Vikings. There you go, Seth. Only patch card of the break. Except unless we get a rookie patch. All right, here comes our, our our RPA. It should be anyhow. We got something coming. Allen Robinson, Gilmore, Cooper, Boyd, and it's going to be an out of 75. One, two, three, four. Get your booty on the flow. <laughs> Tyler Johnson for the Bucks, going out to William Butler. There we go. Not a bad little break on a Friday night. A little Friday night fire action. All right. Let's do a little recap. Let's give away two $5 hitless credits. 
and then we will say good night, and then we'll be back tomorrow with something. Eddie Jackson out of 49, Bo Jackson out of 25, and a Herbie Hancock. we got to roll the dice for these, except this one, he said the Steelers could have it. But we are going to roll the dice for this one. One, two, three to the top, four, five, six to the bottom. It's a six. It's going to go to J-Lo, Jordan Love. All right, here we go. First up, Minnesota Vikings, Double J, Justin Jefferson. Going out to Seth Anderson. We got a Tyler Johnson for the Tampa Bay Bucks going out to William Butler. Dar Darnell Mooney for the Chicago Bears going out to CT. We got the uh, Steven Sims for the Washington football team going out to Dougie Berger. LaVisca Chanel on card out of 99 for the Jags. Joseph Taylor, nice card there. I think that's going to be a good card for real down there. I think the Jags are going to put some numbers up this year. Xavier Jones, uh, Xavier Jones for the LA Rams going out to E.J. Watts. It's in the game. John Wolford for the Wolford for the Rams. Anthony McFarlane for the Pittsburgh Steelers going out to Josh Long. Another J Lo. Jeff Gladney for the Minnesota Vikings to Seth Anderson. Xavier McKinney for the New York Giants going out to Josh Long. I believe. Let me double check. McKinney is the Giants, correct? I'm just gonna pull it up anyhow. If you didn't look uh listen to it, go listen to our podcast that dropped today. Yep, the Giants there, so that goes to Josh Long. The next one is going to be Brian Harrion. Man, I want to say that might be the Niners. Cleveland Browns. I don't know that he got drafted. That may go with the hit list. He was signed by the Cleveland Browns. So that was his last team. So that's going to go to the Browns. And then Sean McKeon, we got to look up yet. Dallas Cowboys for Sean McKeon, and that's going to go out to Chris Morenzi. All right, two $5 hitless credits here. Oh, and no, oh, sorry. I forgot about the two biggest hits. <laughs> Herbert for the Chargers going out to Sean Carone. And the Tannehill out of 17 veteran ticket for the Tennessee Titans going out to Hitman. Not a bad way to end it. All right, now we can give away two $5 hitless credits. We're going to open another box of Break Kings baseball tomorrow as well. A little baseball mixer on a Saturday. All right, here we go. Bring you over. Top two and five dollar hitless credit. Good luck, y'all. Seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna be the Chiefs and the Texans. Gonna be Ben Wynn and Joey Fanning getting the hits. There you go, or getting the five dollar credits. I mean, all right, guys, I'm Audi. About an hour past my bedtime this week. Had a heck of a week. We'll get back at it tomorrow. Hope you all get some rest. Enjoy the rest of your evening if you're staying up late, or if you're on the West Coast. Talk to y'all tomorrow.